All right. Hey, friends. Let's go in here and get some access. We got to go. We got to go run the log splitter again. I'm the log splitter. Me. I am the log splitter. I don't need a log splitter. I am the log splitter. Log splitter. Me. Log splitter. <laughs> It's funny you see in the comments, AJ, thanks buddy for the little thing for the Dolmar. I love it. I have to figure out how to put that sucker on there. Uh, yeah. So friends, I made an ax yesterday and here it is. Today's a video about splitting wood and axes. And friends, I see comments. <laughs> it's funny. I see comments. <clears throat> Why don't you get a log splitter? We use log splitters. Have you ever seen a log splitter? Have you heard of a log splitter? <laughs> Friends, look who you're talking to. Come on, friends. Come on. Friends, I have a log splitter. It's over in that shop over there, that property there next door. That's where my log splitter is. It's been there for two years, uh, untouched. I probably should pull it out just to start it up and run it again. I should, I'll be honest, I should. And I think I'll do a video on it. It's been a long time since I've done a video on that thing. Life will not happen to me. I will happen to life. Yes, indeed, I will. Yes, indeed, I will. Now, uh, I'm going to bring some axes, and I want to talk today about the proper axe for the proper job. And if you're going to split, hey, friends, listen, there's not a lot of sick individuals out there like me. I know there's some. Like, I know there's some when you get into some gnarly, crazy wood. But, friends, to me, that is a challenge. That is... That is going to be, at the end of it, when I'm done with it, I'm going to look back on it, and I'm going to go like this. Yes, indeed. Yes, in freaking deed. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to look and, and go dust off my log splitter. That ain't me. That ain't Buck and Billy Ray. I'm an axe man. I've been one for my whole freaking life, so I don't use log splitters, friends. I use axes. I don't call hair how care, care how snotty the freaking wood is. I'm going to bust it apart and dissect it with an axe. So in reply to comments, because I like to reply to comments in the comment section, have you seen a log splitter? Do you know what a log splitter is? Have we? <laughs> yes, I do. And you will not catch me running a hydraulic log splitter. They're slow. Uh, you would have to, I would have to have, be doing this every day of my life. Every day, five days a week, if I was going to have a log splitter. I enjoy the living shkabangas out of whacking a, a pile of wood up with an axe, friends, and looking over my shoulder and seeing it done. That's just part of who I am. Log splitters are for girls. <laughs> That's not a nice comment. I don't know if I'll upload that. That's a joke, though. That is a joke that me and my buddies used to say. Firewood guys, we joke around. Uh, oh, I'm taking that axe today. Thomas Lely's axe. Oh, I'm glad I just saw that. So... Friends, listen, don't be offended. Log splitters are for girls. They're not for girls. They're for girls too. They're for everybody. But I, they're not for me. <laughs> oh, we're going to bring some cool axes today. We're going to bring this thing. It's lighter, but I'm going to bring it. It wouldn't be customary or fair if we didn't bring this along today and give it a shot. Ever seen one of these? And they do split wood. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Oh yes, they do. Wow. <laughs> These things do split, friends. 
Holy cow. These things, they split. This is not nice wood. I'm telling you, it is not nice. I didn't even bother flipping it over. Well, that's where all the knots are at the top. <sighs> that's all I need. It works. It works real good. We should almost pick one of these and give it a go. What was that noise? What about one of these? Hey, what do you think? Think this will work? Yes, indeed. Take a look. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. The Basque. The Basque axe. Lovely. I'm going to bring that big whippersnapper jersey. I even think I was thinking about bringing this guy, but. I'm going to bring my favorite axe because it splits wood like mad. So I'm going to gather up some axes, friends, and we'll see you down on site. Perfect. So, friends, this, this is an axe video, strictly about axes, profiles. We're in a nice little shaded area. Um, this is a, a, I call this, it's a Jersey, but it's a Kentucky because it has a long kind of a, it's just what I call them. When they get long like this, it, they call them Kentucky. Okay, Kentucky pattern. Uh, this is a Thomas Lee axe. He's done a hell of a job. Uh, he knows I love the barbarism. And, it, and it's just a beautiful axe and it, it'll cut the hair right off your arms. I don't know how he got it this sharp, but uh, he's got it sharp. And just to show you how sharp, there's still hair missing off my arm. Look at that patch. Watch, I'll do another one right here. Can you see that? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's sharp, friends. <laughs> Anyways, um, this thing, fortunately, what I look for, friends, is I look for a crack in the wood first. And it's there, but I want to talk about sizes the malls work i've got my custom all here mall works great they do they work great for certain stuff they'd work here but i want to show you something see this profile here that's about as small as you want to get it's nice to get you know this this will split this i know it will this is a, the, the reason i made this ball it's a bamboo handle you guys have seen this thing it's a beautiful beautiful custom mall old school got the little bevels on it and it's just, it's beautiful. It, it actually even sticks into the wood sometimes. You see, which a lot of malls won't, all right? The proper ax for the proper job. The mall will probably be better here opening this up.
So I can continue to, but remember friends, just because there's a crack don't mean it's going to go. There's not. See it starting to go there now? There it goes. There it is. There she goes. Okay. So there we go. So it's nice to get it down like that. Now, friends, you can flick with a maul. A lot of people think you can't flick with a maul. You can. The flick technique works awesome with a maul, friends. Like really nice. See that? It works great, better than just straight in. So this is a There's a big knot at the bottom. I got to change. Here we go. So this mall is lovely. I love working with this mall. Now we're getting into the knots. Flip your wood around. That's interesting. Look at this, friends. You got to see this. I got to show this to you. Look at it was split. Look at the bottom. Two knots holding it together right there. This wood's gnarly. It is. It's crazy. Look at this all straight there. And then at the bottom holding you up. Okay, so the mall's great. We know that. We know the mall's good. I use the right tool for the right job. Here's our double. This is a big long handled double bit axe. It's my gorilla. It's the go-to for stuff like this. See that? Done. Now it gives us an opportunity for different, there, different angles to get the flick going. See? Here we go. I love this thing, friends. I do. Here we go. So this thing's definitely got a knot at the bottom. There it is. That was a hard split. Oh yay, cool. Thank you. Okay. Thomas Levy, Thomas Levy's axe. Look at this, friend. It's just gnarly as, as all get out. Right gnarly. Yeah. It takes time. Sometimes you flip it over, you can see what's going on better. See, I could see where it was. There it goes. I flipped it over and it showed me better what was happening. Sometimes just flip it over. It tells you a different story. There we go, done. Big pieces of wood, friends. This is Thomas's ax. And it's beautiful. It's sharp, which is nice. There's no sense in almost splitting through this knot.
Here we go. Take a look at where your knots are. Single bit flick. Okay. There's another one. I kind of, when I do that, friends, I kind of come up like this. I come up and then I kind of slam it like that. See? There we go. That's a big piece of wood. There we go. Okay? This one doesn't have too many knots in it, friends. So I want to take this opportunity to get a different axe, which is my long handled Jersey pattern. It's like a whip. You've all seen this one. And it's, it's beautiful, actually. It's nice to swing. You see that? It's got lots of whip. And the flick is to take it. See that? Each time I do it, I'm flicking. Every time. This is gnarly wood. I'm gonna flip it because I can feel something holding on to it. Indeed I can. There we go. That was that flick again. I don't know what I do. I come up like this and I kind of give it a figure eight. It works beautiful, friends. I think I'll show it to you from uh, a different angle so you see it. Watch what happens. I'll just demonstrate with this piece of wood. Watch. See how that happened? I come up like this and it kind of, it's strange, but it, it really helps the splitting. Now we're going after this thing. It's big. So a lot of people will say, Buckham, why don't you just use a log splitter? And I'm like, well, the thing with a log splitter is, is you're bent over. You, you've got to do this all the time to either pick it up and put it to the splitter or you're down on your knees and your lever and I just it's a splitter is harder on my broken back friends I'm just telling you it is it's much harder on my back here's a great big dirty piece of wood uh, the neighbor was over Dean he was fl flicking off the sides he's got the right idea it's that kind of wood shank your sides off it I see a crack here actually I see a crack and it'll probably go over time. Let's tell you something. Where's my maul? Here's the maul. You see that? So there's no point. When I when I have when it doesn't go, I swap out right away. I change my method. Look at this. You could see a little knot right there. You gotta change your strategy right now. Let's get off of these. Uh, 
there. You can see the knots like crazy. Let's see here. There we go. See that knot right there? There's no sense in trying to go this way. It, look at it, bounced right off. You're not gonna get it. Look at, I'm showing you because it's not gonna happen. You need to come over here and shank that piece off. See that? Look where it came, friends. It came right up to the knot. Did you see that? You're not going this way through them knots, so you gotta work your way through it. Let's come over here now. Work your way in. See? And the mall does work. It does work. It's got the weight. See, these are actually all split. Okay? But you can see, sooner or later, I'll have to split through the middle. And now I can because I've taken off all those outer rings now. I should be able to crack this in the guts now. Then what that'll do for me is it'll create a whole new world of splitting for me here. Watch. Let's do something with a bigger, a bigger bit on it. See if this will help us. Here we go. That's it. Find the crack. There it is. Missed it. See friends? You wanna go with what the wood's telling you to do. So it's the right tool for the right job. Here we go. Okay. See, I'm going through a knot here. I can see it. Interesting, that should have went easier. And then, I've got certain axes that I use for picking up the wood. And the mall ain't it. The mall ain't it, I'll tell you that. Yeah, you can see that. Yep. It's all there. Wow, you hear that, friends? I'm thinking it's time to maybe get the L well out. I need penetration and weight. I'm thinking the six pound L well might, or this is four, pardon me, this is not six. This might help create a whole new world here. Maybe not though. Hey, good. How you doing? 
Yeah, the reason those are goofy shape builders there is because I only split them so they were big enough I could lift them to the Anyway, friends, back on the back on the log here. This is a bugger. This, this balsam. You guys see me the other day here with the Woodman Spirit. It's tough stuff. It is. This thing's getting. We're down to the middle of it now. This probably isn't the right tool. I think I'm gonna bust out the good old, um, you know. And, and don't be afraid, friends. See, see, I'll, I'll actually tell you what the problem is here. And I should have figured this out sooner. The knots are on top. That's my problem, hands down, guaranteed. When I flip this over, it's gonna happen for me. Do you see what I'm saying? There's a knot there, there's a knot here, there's one there, there's one there. My problem is, I've got the freaking stuff, it's sitting the wrong way. <laughs> I can't believe I was doing that, friends. I'm not joking you. This will come right apart now. It might even go in half. Yes, indeed it will. There it goes. It's done. Isn't that funny, friends, eh? So it's all about reading that wood. That's really all it is. Hey, listen, every piece of wood's not gonna be a cream pie. Let's be honest. So that's why I don't bring one ax to the freaking wood pile. Don't make no sense to me. But this will hold together because of those knots on the bottom, right? See, there it is there now. There we go. So that's my point on that. The knots were on top and that's why I wasn't getting nowhere. Plain and simple. I should have known that. Silly bugger bucking. <laughs> See, look at that hold together. Look at that, friends. Man, this stuff. I mean, look at it. it. The piece of wood is split. It's split. The only thing holding this is this freaking knot right here. No wonder I was going nowhere. It's just, it's the way the stuff is. Look at that. I'm hitting that knot right on top. It's not going anywhere. And it won't. It won't go anywhere. There we go. So that's what I was had to bust through, friends. See? So when you're splitting wood like this, what I was doing was I was trying to hit it like this, friends, up here. It wasn't working because of this. It's all crazy around here. So I went to this side and I started getting it. Make sense? I know it does. I know it does. See, here's these knots on the bottom. This is important, you need to see this. Look at knots, all on the bottom, nothing on the top. You wanna to set this up like this. That's how you wanna do that. Man, this balsam's tough. The old mall does work in this type of wood, boy. Look at that, friends. Oh, oh, oh. It's tough. It's just tough. So now this way, there's no sense in trying to go through the knot again. I'm going to run with it. See it? There we go. Man, it's tough. It, it. <laughs> Holy smoke. I don't know if we're getting this anymore. Oh, maybe get this one. Incredible. Look at that. Oh my God. Wow. It's just gnarly. I've split like two pieces of wood. I'm keeping that stuff for Brad. So he, he can see the big one. There was one second slice for him somewhere. You Behind you. Ah, excellent. Yeah. All right. How many axes have you used? I'm trying different ones. Probably five I've tried now. Yeah. But you have your favorite. I do. I do. Yeah, I had a good chat with Dean, he said. Go talk to him. Oh, he came over, did he? Yeah. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, he said they can't do that. Oh. And I knew that. I actually knew that. Yeah, but it's nice to have three or four. 
It is, yeah. So friends, here's a nimble little Michigan axe. This is one I couldn't get rid of. This is, this is one that's just, see, look at this. If you think, look at this gnarly, gnarly wood. I'm telling you, look at it. It's twisted. There's knots everywhere in the sucker. Like this one, I, I, I gotta be honest. I, I might be able to chip a little piece away. Yeah, here we go. Right alongside the knot, see that? There it goes, beautiful. There's no way you'd get it crossed, but at least now I made it smaller. Look at, see? There it is. It, I went alongside of the knot and there it is. Okay. There's no way. I might get another little piece here now. So th these are the kinds that you just, you got to make smaller. So there we go. That's tough stuff, hey eh, friends? Look at this axe. This is one I couldn't get rid of. Look at this plum. Ooh. It is, it's, it's just, it's beautiful. Hey? Yeah. Anyway, so weight is nice in wood like this. Yeah, I can, I can feel this. This is too light. There's no point. There's something about this gorilla, friends. I, I just don't know. Long and wispy. There it goes. Another piece of wood. I wonder. There we go. Yeah, there. Nice. Nice. Huh. See that, friends? There we go. That's all you can do. It's terrible, friends. I can't believe I got that. Okay. goes out <laughs> this is interesting you need to see this this right here is 20 inches easy 
maybe 22 inches across. Look at this. This is what I'm left with right there. That great big stinking knot. The only place I'm gonna get a little bit more off is right there, a little teeny bit, and maybe bust some off the end. That's it. And this, this, this freaking thing's done. But that's what it's like. That's what it's like. Maybe not even. Let's see. Ah, there we go. So we got that smaller. So this here now, I'm just gonna crank this off. Look at that. that that's just out freaking outrageous. I'm just gonna crack it like that. That's the one. Another. Look at I just saw it. Look at this. Look at what Thomas Fax just did. See that knot? It literally chopped right through the knot. Didn't break it, it chopped right through it. That's it for that piece of wood. Uh, that's it. Wow. This old gorilla boy, I'm telling you. Look at that. He loves it. How often do you guys see me with this gorilla? Because I know it works. Done. Long handle. This thing's never moved. You know another cool thing about this, friends? Notice, what do you notice about this ax? It's not beat. Look, there's nothing. There's no chips of wood off it. There's, there's pitch, but it's not thrashed and beaten. That's because I hit the wood closest to me, right? We've all talked about that many times, right? And the flick is what saves a guy out. You see? I knew not to hit that that You see? Here we go. Okay. Have several axes, friends. Put them to put them to work. Learn geometry of, of splitting heads. Learn your learn your heads. Because they all do something a little different. Heavy is great, and that, that definitely helps split, but you don't need them all, all the time. You just don't. It was, hum, it was helpful today in this naughty stuff, very helpful, but you don't need it all the time. So, I just wanted to come and uh, throw some axe around. Thanks for watching my videos. Talk to you soon, over and out, be kind.